Good evening and welcome to the Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Colleen Callender and here are today's top stories. Disgraced former U.S. Representative Anthony Weiner is in hot water again. He's being accused of sexting a 15-year-old girl. The girl told Daily Mail that Weiner sent her sexually explicit messages for months last year, starting when she was a sophomore in high school. The NYPD is looking for two men who they say found a bag containing the bomb used in the Chelsea attack. Jim Waters is NYPD's Counterterrorism Bureau Chief. Uh, footage of two individuals that we'd like to speak to. I want to make, be very clear when we show the, showing that photo that uh, these individuals are witnesses. Okay, we're very much interested in talking to them and finding out. Civil rights activists in North Carolina are calling for an economic boycott following the death of Keith Lamont Scott, who was shot and killed by a police officer Tuesday. Take your money out of the Gulf Lake Mall. Take your money out of South Park Mall. Take your money out of the epicenter. Hell, let's don't even have the CIAA this year. How you gonna party, have a drink in your hand, and we ain't get no damn justice right, in here. Right, right. Let everybody feel the pain. Charlotte police maintain that Scott was armed and posing a threat. The U.S. says Russian warplanes bombed an aid convoy in Syria, forcing the U.N. to suspend aid for the time being. Close to 250,000 Syrians are deprived of food, medicine, and water currently, and getting aid to them is becoming more difficult as fighting and destruction persists. You're seeing a mix of clouds and sun in Syracuse today, with temperatures coming in at a high of 80, and it'll cool down to a low of 54 tonight with no real chance of rain. That's it for your news brief tonight. Tune into News Live at 6 for the full show. I'm Colleen Callender. Have a great night, Syracuse.